In this video I want to show you how I make a super strong anchor without any carabiners. It's important that the anchor is only as strong as the structure I, I'm using. This configuration is inspired by robust rescue rigging from Axel Manns. So if you want to have some proper rope rescue training, make sure to get in contact with Axel Manns from Germany. I will link him down in the description. So now let's start with building the anchor. I will use this Teufelberger Resc-Tech line. It's an 8mm static line or static rope, so super lightweight. I will prepare it in a way that I have one end and one loop, so I have three ropes going around the structure. You can also do like one rope, but the more ropes you add, the more surface area you have and therefore more yeah, abrasion saving is this and possibly more safe. Okay, I place this in this one room. Now I have like a, a thin accessory cord. I will use this to pull the rope to the other side. So I just open this up. Make a knot on this side. You could also attach a weight like from the tree climbing community or just something else like a boot or probably something you find in an old house. Yeah, I will throw this from one window to the other. So I attach it over here, so I cannot accidentally pull it to the other side. Just make a fast knot. So, rope is attached to the thin cord. Of course this is easier if you are two people. So here we are. So now here are all the ropes. Yeah, it's quite easy to lose the overview which rope is which. So if they are different colors, it's a lot easier. But yeah, I want to do this minimalistic. I have a lot of rope left. So now I can set the direction of pull. Make sure all the ropes are tensioned as equal as possible. I will also look out of the window that there are no sharp edges and not a rope hanging down and being stuck to an edge or something. And here yeah, I just hold it and do a big fat knot, just an overhand, overhand knot like this. And this is my attachment point. Now to make this even safer, I add these simple edge protectors. I have one edge up there, one on the other side, and one here on this door frame. So now the edge protection is set, the direction of pull is set. I can just clip my ropes and whatever to this, or I attach a rigging plate to have a bit more overview and I will make a separate video on reasons to use a rigging plate. Yeah, now I could attach this with two carabiners to be redundant. Just use three loops here and three loops there, two carabiners and attach this. Or to save some weight and some carabiners. So the alternative is to open it up. Then do the same again, make sure they are all tensioned in the direction of pull. Now again, make a big fat knot, but with a bigger loop. It's also easier if you are two people. So to this bigger loop, I can thread this rigging plate directly. And this uses less rope than doing a girth hitch and then a mule overhand. And with this, the girth hitch it's safe and it's almost the same, but now we have the rigging plate in place. Really nice. Of course, for, to do this, you have to have a rigging plate with a big opening, like this Austria Alpine rigging plate. Super nice solution with no carabiners. 
You can see as soon as this is unweighted, it falls to the ground. I don't want to have this because this is annoying on the whole rappel station. So for this, I want to front tension it. For this, I use some thin accessory cord. Just attach it here with a glove hitch because this is easy to adjust. Then I have my elastic prosec on a skyhook. You have seen them probably in my previous videos where I repelled on skyhooks. I just attached this with a bowline knot because this is super simple, easy to do, easy to undo. Then I walk to an edge. So now I attach the skyhook a bit further in the next room. I can now tension the whole thing with the clove hitch. So yeah, anchor's built. Now I can attach several ropes over here and people can repel out of the window and it's easy to attach one, two, three people to this anchor. And in my opinion, this is super strong because here the roof is made of yeah, big rocks. So yeah, if you have a house with some sketchy building structure, then probably this is not the best option. But here in this house, this is super bomb proof option. Thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to watch by you again. Bye.